Marley from The Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, January 5th. So we had the moon move out of Gemini energy, lock into Cancer energy here at 9.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, that pushes us into the full moon window as we are about to have our first full moon in 2023 taking place on Friday, January 6th at 6.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Cancer Energy. It's definitely going to be a doozy, definitely going to crack open our heart space and let those old emotions flow. Now, if you haven't listened to the 2023 energy forecast for the year, check out January as we kind of explore the highs and lows. And then, of course, we break it down the whole year into manageable bite-sized pieces. If you haven't listened to January's energy forecast, you should probably do that. And if you haven't listened to the astro forecast that I put out for the full moon in Cancer, you should definitely be doing that as well. Download your zodiac forecast so that you know where in your life this particular energy is going to impact you the most. And download your moon guide. Start this year off correctly with aligning with the energies of the moon and really kind of help yourself do the shadow work, activate all of those DNA codes in you that each of these moon events are supposed to trigger. So we have eight different aspects here today. Six of them involve the moon. While the moon is still in Gemini energy, but of course void, we have a semi-square with the true node, our soul path, our destiny point. This is mostly just highlighting questions. This is us debating the pros and cons. This is us trying to decide where it is that we want to go from here, what it is we want to pour our time, energy, and attention into. Now, a semi square does create a little bit of friction, a little bit of tension in order for us to realize what it is that we have to move away from and what it is that we have to move closer to. But because the moon is void, there is some shakiness, some uncertainty, some doubt, some not so nice thoughts and feelings coming up, really questioning our intentions, questioning where it is that we should be moving forward. The moon, well, still in Gemini energy, still void, of course, is going to make a positive interaction with Venus, who is fresh in Aquarian energy. We get some air on air action here between Gemini and Aquarius energy. And we are definitely sorting out our thoughts, our feelings on what it is that we want, need and desire as far as our personal relationships go. As far as what it is that we need to do to incorporate more happiness, more joy, more pleasure into our lives. Now, Mercury, who is retrograde in Capricorn energy, goes ahead and makes a very positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, blessings. Now, Jupiter is in Aries energy, our pretty much our our only fire sign in the cosmos right now. And he is definitely ready and rearing to go. He wants us to put ourselves out there. He wants us to make great leaps forward. He wants us to go out and pursue new opportunities for ourselves. He wants us to reinvent ourselves, rebrand ourselves, reemerge on the platform, on the stage of our own lives. But here's the thing. We're not ready to do so. Why? Well, because we're in a reflective period. We're in a visualization period, especially with Mercury being retrograde. We have to look back in order to gain insight on how it is that we are going to move forward. Even more than that, Jupiter had entered into Aries energy back in May. And there is a huge reflection back over the course of this year, taking us back into May of 2022, where it is that we could have done things differently, where we missed opportunities, where we want to recreate opportunities, where there is potential for a redo. Now, Mercury and Jupiter coming together means that even though we're looking back, even though that we're, you know, eager and willing to move forward and we're not really supported in doing so, we are going to have some huge, huge ideas on how it is that we're going to reframe past experiences, how we're going to improve our inner narrative, how it is that we are going to focus on 
adding a little bit of strategy to our lives, discipline, structure, if you will. We get all of those qualities and characteristics from the Capricorn energy that Mercury is currently retrograde in. It is also the manifesting energy. So whatever ideas, whatever goals, whatever projects, whatever aha moments that we're having right now, they're pretty profound and they're going to lead us to making some great leaps, some great progress in our mental plane. The moon, still in Gemini energy, still void of course, is going to make an awkward interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is in Capricorn energy. Now, this isn't going to feel good. We get a little bit obsessive, if you will. And even if we're focused on good things, obsession is never a good thing because it means that we have such tunnel vision that we may actually miss some information, some details, some opportunities that are taking place around us that we aren't even aware of because we have tunnel vision. Now, this obsession is definitely going to bring up some, some intense thoughts, some intense emotions, because we have to process them in such a way that is going to lead to a shift in our mental plane and in our heart space. Now, this is also a learning opportunity for us to see where it is that maybe our narrative tapes a little bit of a deep dive where it is that we kind of move into the darkness of our memories, because that's what Pluto does. He reminds us of the pain and the struggle and the suffering, the trauma, the wounds in order to boss us up in order to kind of strike a nerve, if you will, where we're like, you know what, we're never going to experience that again. I am going to make something out of this bad situation. I will come out on top. And that is just the kind of energy that we need in order to make a decision, make a choice, align with a path, get a little bit more motivated and inspired to take charge of our lives and to stop letting, you know, life happen to us and to boss up and start taking the reins, making life happen for us. 9.15 a.m., the moon shifts into cancer energy. The very first aspect that we have is at 9.23 a.m., again, Eastern Standard Time. And the moon in cancer is going to semi-square, which is a little bit of a tension point, with Uranus, the Great Awakener, who is retrograde in Taurus energy. So we're definitely going to get pulled into the funk just for a minute. Here's why. Well, first of all, we're in a reflective period anyways. Um, the moon in Cancer, typically speaking, is focused on the past, it does have a hard time letting go of certain topics and themes in the past. We tend to be nostalgic and romanticize the past in this Cancer energy. And Uranus, who is trying to open up our mind and open up our heart space and prepare us for a great change, is also retrograde, reflecting back over our physical realm lives, over our attachments. Who are we overly attached to? What are we overly attached to? Where are we holding on to the past for dear life and essentially blocking the amount of progress and abundance and blessings that's actually able to come into our lives? Now, let me just say that we could experience some intense anxiety at this point because this Uranian energy is very electric definitely has an impact on the central nervous system. We have a tendency to worry a little bit and focus on the negative when it comes to the moon in cancer. And so we're definitely going to be all up in the feels. We're definitely going to be overwhelmed for just a sec. Now it's not going to last too long because here's the thing. The sun in Capricorn is going to trine, which is a beautiful energy, with Uranus, who is retrograde in Taurus energy. We get some earth on earth energy here, which means that we're getting brought back to the present moment. We're grounding things out just when we kind of get taken into the darkness, taken into the funk. The sun shines a bright light on where it is that we want to go from here. There's like an aha moment. And all of a sudden, it reminds us that guess what, looking back doesn't feel so good. The funk doesn't feel so good. Holding on doesn't feel so good. Settling for the same old, same old doesn't feel so good. So what do we know when we recognize what doesn't feel good? We know that it's time for change. And the sun trining Uranus energy is preparing us for that change. We need to start embracing the new thoughts, the new emotions, the new, I'm going to say, direction, path, any kind of change 
that is different from what it is that we've been sitting in needs to be welcomed in with open arms. This is going to shine a bright light on our unique perspective as of right now, because we all have a different perspective and understanding on certain situations in life. This is going to shine the light on our own unique perspective, our own unique individual experience. And this is going to put us in a very interesting situation where we get to think outside of the box, where we get to push the boundaries of our thinking and the sun shining a bright light on Capricorn energy is really showing us what it is that we have to build in our lives, create in our lives in order to get away from all of the things that the weight that we just felt from the past, from the funk that we do not want to sit in any longer. The moon in Cancer goes ahead and squares, gets into the boxing ring with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who is in Aries energy. Now, here's the thing. Jupiter in Aries energy doesn't want to look back. We just want to move ahead. We want to take huge amounts of leaps forward, moving ahead. But again, we're not really supported by the cosmos and taking action right now. So we're already a little bit frustrated and agitated that we're kind of stalled out and blocked. The moon in Cancer is looking back. We don't want to change anything with the moon in Cancer. We want everything to stay the same, even though it's uncomfortable, even though we know we've outgrown it. Even though we know we deserve better, for some reason, the moon and cancer always shows us where it is that we would prefer to stay in the funk of uncomfortability where things are tried, tested and true, where things are predictable, instead of actually putting ourselves out there going after something new and different and seeing what the universe delivers to us, other than the funk of predictability that we've been sitting in. So of course, these two energies are not getting along at all. This is a square. This is a tension point. We have one energy, emotionally speaking, looking back, not wanting to look forward. We have the energy wanting the other energy of Jupiter magnifying everything. So we're caught up all in the feels right now, all in the impulse, all in the frustration, all in the desperation of holding on to whatever it is we can hold on to all in the sake of not seeing change again, cancer energy. Jupiter just wants us to look forward. He wants us to grow. He wants us to open up our heart space and our head space and our just our opportunity to move forward. So we're definitely going to feel this conflict. We're definitely going to fight it out. Pay attention to what is coming up for you. The emotions, the thoughts, the I'm going to say um, impulse to either hold on for dear life or to let go entirely and open up your heart and your head to all the changes that are coming your way. Now we're going to end the day off with the moon making a very uncomfortable interaction with Venus, who is in Aquarius energy. So the moon in Cancer and Venus in Aquarius, we are having an opportunity here to see where growth and change is needed, especially where our own self-worth and self-value is concerned, first and foremost, secondly, secondly with our relationship. And thirdly, with our finances. Now, Venus is just fresh into Aquarian energy. She's helping us detach emotionally so that we can see a bird's eye view, the bigger, broader perspective, if you will, on what the comings and goings of our inner emotional realm are leading us to actually pursue. Again, the moon in Cancer, very focused on holding on to the old. Venus being in Aquarius energy, very focused in on ushering in the new. Another complete contrast that is not going to feel good, but again, a crossroads, a choice point on what it is that we can compromise with. What are we willing to maybe loosen our grip on as far as past situations, elements, relationships, attachments go in order to free up our hand to maybe just put it out there and hold on to whatever new is actually being thrown at us.